Hello everyone and welcome to Sims 4 Real Estate. I'm your host Tabby and today we'll be looking at the collective cabin nestled on the outskirts of Lake Lunvik. Christopher Volkov created a home for himself and those in need. He's made room for all who have joined him over the years with the homey guard in the shed out back, ensuring those who live here can live a self-sustainable lifestyle in peace and solitude. This lot is worth $50,626. It's a 40 by 30, so it's quite big. It's actually four bedrooms and two bathrooms in there. It looks small, but it's got quite some good things going on here. Uh, so let's take a good look at it. As y'all know, this is the, the werewolf territory, so we must be respectful. Don't mess things up and don't say anything too mean about the house. Though, you know, werewolves can be a little temperamental. So let's go inside. Okay, guys. So the first thing we see is this beautiful homemade look. Everything has a handcrafted look in this house. Everything. Even the door looks like it was made directly by hand. It's beautiful. Um, it has very low ceilings, which is very interesting. Almost a basement type of look, but not a basement. No television, no radios, um, no distractions. You have a nice fireplace. This is a place where solitude and quiet is what you need. Like after a hard day, you need to sit down and relax. So take a look at this place very cozy it's got an excellent feel to it and here's where it would, it would typically sit a computer you can of course if you buy this lot but um yeah <laughs> you won't find it here when you first move in not at all okay now this is our bathroom and our only bathroom uh in the main house so the downstairs bathroom no upstairs bathrooms right now you always add it later on but it's a quite big bathroom. You have a place where you can wash, take a shower, and the bath. Uh, nice little, uh, sweet little toilet. Everything's very woody and just cozy. It feels very cozy. You could probably put another shower in there too. And let's go up these nice handcrafted stairs. Again, the wood is the main feature here. This is your main bedroom. What I love about the werewolf uh, houses is you are going to see a lot of scratches on the wall. Uh, that's kind of a cool feature. I'll show it to you up close. Take a look at this. You can see a punch mark, a scratch. It's very, very similar to vampires, but a little bit more uh, harsher, actually. Let's go outside on our only balcony. And you got little plants. And I want to show the view, but the plants kind of block it, so I'm going to zoom out a bit and show how it looks to be out on the balcony. I would put actually plants that actually grow little berries and stuff out there. It'd be a good place to plant some uh, real food. So let's take a look around here and go into our next bedroom. So this is a kid's bedroom. You can put another bed down there and make it a true bunk bed. Everything, again, like I said, is very handcrafted. A couple of rips, a couple of scratch marks, ripped up furniture. Um, definitely a teenager's room. Let's go to the next one. Probably a guest room or another kid's room. Even the paintings get scratched up. That's a cool feature. It's, it's a cool feature here. And even the, um, the, the little tables actually look beat up. <laughs> But it's a good thing, not a bad thing. It's a really cool feature to look beat up and worn. It adds to a more realistic feel for the Sims, which I actually really do like. Okay, so instead of going straight to the kitchen, this is the kitchen right here, but let's bypass it for now. And I want to show the guest house. And look at all this land. You actually get pretty good reception out here <laughs> with the phone. So let's get through the land. You have your own place where you can craft a lot of furniture. And here's the place of solitude. Right when you feel the change, when you're turning into a werewolf, you can sit out here and be left alone. Even the uh, lamp has patches on it. 
And here's your second bathroom. Now, this one's very, uh, very, this one's pretty small, but you still get privacy. Everything about this house is about openness and privacy. You can, of course, change it into a shower if you don't like bathtubs, but I love it. Everything has a very worn look, very used look, but a look that says there's been a lot of families, laughs, and joy here. You can put a whole farm out here. So much land. And I'll show you some land even in the back. Where you can add more edible foods and fruits and vegetables. You don't even have to. The irony is you don't really have to even eat meat here. If you don't want to. But you're aware of so you probably will want to. But you can plant a lot of sustainable things. So I thought for this place it feels more like down to earth. We would eat some corn dogs. Let's chop up our meat. The kitchen is actually pretty big. I can imagine a nice uh, mama or old lady cooking for the whole family here. But for now, we're just going to make a little small dish. Just one little corn dog for us. <laughs> Okay, and our corn dog is done. Let's take a look around. Got a nice little step up to go into the house. This feels like it's also a bit of a mud room, so we come out from the inside, from the outside. Before you go to the main house, you can kind of brush your shoes off. And let us eat our corn dog. This is where the family would probably most likely sit and eat together. It's not a whole lot of room, but you can always update the table, add more chairs, or add a table and chairs for outside. It can kind of remind you of eco-styling uh, life uh, houses where they eat a lot outside and just chill out there. And of course, we have to make sure to wash our dishes. Like I said, we have to be very respectful to the werewolves to not play. <laughs> Okay, guys, that is basically it. I hope y'all enjoyed the collective cabin. Tell me in the comments if you would like to see some more werewolf houses. It's not a whole lot of them, but they are pretty cool when they do come in. And, uh, yeah, it's basically it. And, oh, the fog is coming in, guys. Look at this fog. I better start running. Better get home real fast. Bye. <laughs>